Hi guys, Yen here. <laughs> Again, hope you're doing well. So, um, for me, it's been like, okay, I've become a Christian and I've, you know, I'm following God wholeheartedly and I'm going through things and obviously he's refining me and I'm not perfect. I'm striving to become, you know, like Jesus. So you get to a point where you're like, in, Christian, in your beliefs, you're like, ah, you can't deal with so many things and you don't want to deal with so many things that are going on around you. And what kind of keep, what kind of, to be honest, kept me sane is the fact that Jesus was always hanging around with um, people that were lonely, like people that were, he could actually help. So it always kind of put a check on me, like, um, especially with my family, like, God has changed me, so he changed me to help my family. And I think, like, we have to get to a point of when you have a good thing, you have to find a way to spread this good thing, right? You know, look how many um, uh, apostles, sorry, disciples they were, and they managed to get, you know, the good news about, you know, God and Jesus Christ out. So what more you want by yourself, what you can do for your family. And, you know, to be honest, it got to a point where I wanted to run away and just do my own thing because it, it, it almost looks like scary. Um, but you, that's when, you know, God will challenge your faith because this experience and this belief and this beautiful thing you've managed to find is supposed to be shared with other people, you know? That's why... You know, Jesus was always giving food, like the breaking of the bread, communion. It's like communion. You, I have my bread now. I have my, I have the body, and I have my wine, and you know, giving, and evangelizing, even with your family and your friends. Evangel, evangelism is me giving a piece of Jesus's body, the bread, and Jesus's blood, again to eat and for them to know Him, and then for them to you know enter into salvation. So it's just literally you walking around with the body of Christ and the wine and you're literally evangelizing and to your family. I don't know, this kind of went that way. I'm going to roll with it. My street is taking over. Um, so it's you evangelizing. And I also, I also want to touch um, on... Okay, I'll come back to that. But yeah, you... No, let me continue. You evangelizing and... I, I knew that it was something I wanted to eventually do, evangelize, but um, I remember being kind of scared and going online and, you know, trying to take notes, but it's really not that. It's literally you get into like a cab, you get into a particular area and God just tells you something about the person and you now just start speaking. So don't feel scared about evangelizing and don't feel too fearful about your current cir like circumstance because... God has placed you there to help other people. You have your bread, the body of Christ. You've given, you're given, the, given it to them so they can eat and now join that body. And you're drinking, they're drinking the, the wine. And again, his blood, the purification. So it is a beautiful process. But again, what you're going to go through, because you're probably the first to enter into that truly in your family, um, you're going to really have a lot of tug and pull, again, with your friends. Um, they seem look it's harder for them to believe like even with Jesus when he was growing up it was hard for them to believe ah, look at this uh, what were they calling him um, the carpenter's son like faith that their faith couldn't be moved because they've seen him grow up so they're like look, who's this one so you're gonna face that like Jesus did you know so just hold on um, I'm still holding on <laughs> um, and you know this is when God really tests your faith again just hold your bread and hold your wine, communion, and do your best to share the body of Christ and the blood of Christ as much as you can so they can enter into the body. Yeah, so I hope that helps someone. <laughs> it's helping me as I'm talking as well. And yeah, feel free to watch my videos um, on my page and message me um, for counselling. Yeah, so have a lovely day. All right, bye.